As we mentioned, Highway 168 now open for residents and homeowners and ski resort visitors. China Peak is now open. But how much longer is the highway going to stay open with that other storm coming? And for that, we're going to check in with Esteban Reynoso. He continues our team coverage in Shaver Lake tonight as the threat of this massive snow melt, a major concern. Esteban. Hey there, Stephanie and Alex on. Well, right now, yeah, Highway 168 is back open. We've seen cars go through what used to be that road closure, and now they can go all the way up to China Peak, but Caltrans says it says it's all on safety as to when they could potentially close it again. As for business owners, however, you can see it behind me, all that snow that's piled up on the roof. Business owners are trying to get it all out of the way before this next round of storms. I've been here eight years. I've seen ups and downs, and I'm here just because I have work to do. I have to shovel a lot, you know, to make my driveway clean. Otherwise, even I don't want to be here. We met Jay Singh while he was shoveling as much snow as he could to clear the doors around his business. Singh trying to get ahead of a storm expected to melt most of the snow at Shaver Lake. I am worried, but uh, what I'm saying, like, you know, I'll try to clean it up, everything, not this side, on the other side. I have to, I have to go up on the roof and just try to remove whatever I can. Take a look at this drone footage from Monday. The snow had completely blanketed his parking lot, and there was no way to get to his doors. Singh says anyone traveling up the 168 should know what they're driving into. People, those who are coming here to enjoy the snow, you know, if they come in, there are not much parking lots cleaned up. So there won't be much space, so it'll be blocking all the roads and everything. The ability to get up there and make sure that their property is still doing well, or even a supply run for some who live in the area and who are bracing for this next storm to come in. Elizabeth Yelton with Caltrans says snow removal crews made it possible to open the travel way. The reason why we did open 168, it really comes down to the fact that the lanes are now wide enough. You know, the roads are to a point of safety where we don't have a purpose to keep them closed. But with more rain and snow on the way, we asked Yelton what it would take for the highway to have a hard closure again. It's not going to get people where they need to go in a safe manner. Then that is the decision that will be made to close down the roadway until we can get that road prepared and ready to go. Now, we did drive up to the Tamarack Snow Park. It was still closed at this time, and so are most of the snow parks around here. Live in Shaver Lake, Esteban Reynoso, KC24 Local News and Matters.